One of the keys to successful project alignment is ensuring it will deliver value, meet a business need, and achieve the expected benefits to the stakeholders. Projects create results, such as new or improved products, services, or operational improvements. Both internal and external customers must use these results to actually provide benefits. An important step in performing benefit analysis is to figure out who will benefit from the project. Employees benefit from the results of projects that provide improvements to the internal processes of an organization, resulting in increased efficiency and effectiveness of the work performed. Customers can benefit from the innovation and usage of the product and services to enhance their business or professional lives. Project sponsors can benefit from identifying the need for innovation to support the business strategy and often receive recognition for their insight and involvement. The business benefits from providing new innovations based on a well-defined business strategy providing value to its customers. There are also projects that not only provide results, but also improve the environment. These may be the result of conformance due to government regulations. When performing benefits analysis, it is also important to identify and document all the expected benefits, both tangible and intangible. Tangible benefits are immediately obvious and easier to measure, since they can be assigned a clear monetary value. Intangible benefits are often difficult to estimate, even though they may significantly increase the company's value. The estimates tend to be more qualitative since it is difficult to express their value in terms of currency. Before the year 2000, the justification for most projects relied more on the tangible benefits rather than the intangible benefits, including customer satisfaction, branding, or quality of service delivery. Justification for today's projects is often based on intangible benefits. Tangible benefits may include reduced defects, reduced inventory, reduced warranty, reduced maintenance, reduced scrap and rework, avoided costs, increased revenues, and increased market share. Intangible benefits may include increased quality, increased user satisfaction, increased loyalty, strengthened brand, increased knowledge, and improved culture. If you are performing a cost-benefit analysis, you will need to understand how the tangible benefits are determined. While you won't have to calculate these yourself, it is important to understand how the cost-benefit analysis is used to make a business case for a project. For projects that are extremely innovative or unique, a mathematical approach can be used. This means the value of the project will have to be determined based on its own merits. You may hear the term constrained optimization. This simply means that the goal is to optimize the value of the project given the constraints on the project such as budget or risk. For most projects though, a comparative approach can be used. This allows you to compare the value of multiple projects against each other. A number of approaches may be used. The payback period simply tells you how long it will take to recover your initial investment. It does not consider the value of money over time or the overall return you might earn from a project. This approach is very basic and a shorter payback period is better. The Internal Rate of Return, or IRR, is used to measure how profitable an investment will be, and it is expressed as a percentage. The Net Present Value, or NPV, takes the time value of money into account and expresses the profitability as a dollar amount in today's terms. You may also determine the cost-benefit ratio. The benefit is divided by the cost, and a ratio greater than 1 is considered profitable. When comparing IRR, NPV, or cost-benefit ratios, higher numbers are always better. Finally, you may use your own scoring model where specific criteria are measured and compared from one project to another. The project with the highest score would be considered the most valuable for your organization. Although it is more difficult to quantify, it is still helpful to value the intangible benefits. One way to determine intangible benefits is by using scenario analysis to study potential results of specific business actions and determining the probability to achieve. The intangible benefits are then given an estimated value. 
The process of elimination done after the completion of a project subtracts the total amount of tangible benefits from the overall total benefits to determine the intangible results. With the comparative analysis technique, a company can compare intangible benefits to those from similar projects or even a competitor. Sometimes best guesses from individuals knowledgeable about the product or service is the only way to estimate a benefit amount. Regardless, the value of all benefits may change over time, increasing the risk of determining the value, so frequent revaluation may be necessary. In summary, projects are generally selected because they deliver value, meet a business need, and achieve the expected benefits to the stakeholders. Benefits may either be tangible or intangible. Tangible benefits are measurable and usually monetary, whereas intangible benefits are still valuable but may be more difficult to define.